Hi all, I've done a lot of Mythic Plus keys and testing on the War Within beta on my Assassination Rogue. More than I needed to, to be honest, but I was just having so much fun with mine. If you guys have kept up to date with tuning and such, or have been on the beta yourself, you've probably seen that Sin is doing a ton of damage right now. I'm by no means a pro at all at Rogue or Assassination at all, and I'm actually pumping. Wanted to give you guys my honest thoughts of the hero talents, how we're looking mostly in Mythic Plus, and overall just how it feels to play. If you guys have any questions or want Want to share your thoughts leave them down in the comments below let's start with hero talents we get faithbound and deathstalker both not being my absolute favorite to be honest but they have strengths to them for faithbound it centers around hand of fate we flip a coin every time a finishing move consumes five or more combo points if we get tails it does cosmic damage to our target and if we get heads it increases the damage of all of our attacks also if we get the same face in a row heads will increase all, all of our damage by two percent and ten percent more cosmic damage if we get tails it's a pretty interesting idea but very in the background gameplay but solid as hell damage wise fateful ending is pretty impactful when our coin flips seven times in a row on the same face we get a seven percent increase to our damage unless we leave combat so it's fantastic for chaining mobs together when we get it i really like edge case when we activate our dead uh, death mark our next coin lands on its edge and counts for both heads and tails. We got a couple cool nodes that plan to match the same face as the previous one, like Mean Streak or Double Jeopardy, which I, I like. I like our defensive node of Chosen's Revelry or Tempted Fate for an Absorb Shield or additional Leech. Overall, the tree isn't bad. It feels luck-based, which is kind of fun, but definitely more in the background gameplay. Uh, and, and I wish there was some sort of like audio cue for flipping the coin or animation. Would have made it feel like I guess less bland for me. Uh, felt very strong in AoE and decent in single target damage. Preferred to run this over Deathstalker in Mythic Plus for sure. Deathstalker centers around Deathstalker's mark. When you ambush from stealth, you apply three stacks of this mark to the target. When you spend five or more combo points on that target, it does some damage and increases the damage of your next ambush or mutilate. Only one target can be marked at a time. It feels 100% centered around single target in raid uh, versus Mythic Plus. Kind of nice for mobs you need to like prioritize down or tyrannical bosses, but it just felt weird to use in most of the dungeons. We get a few nodes that increase the damage we deal to mark targets and a couple that buff our Phantom Knives damage, which is okay. I like Lingering Darkness. After Death Mark expires, you get 20% increased nature damage for 30 seconds, so it helps to extend that damage, uh, the damage window. I also like Darkest Night quite a bit. When you consume your last mark on your or your target dies, you get 40 energy and it guarantees your next Venom that you do uh, at max combo points is a crit. It does 60% damage and applies Deathstalker's mark. Feels pretty fun to play around. Overall, the Hero Town Tree feels like it's meant for raid or PvP and not Mythic Plus to be honest. I honestly like our tier set quite a bit. Our two set gives our bleed damage a chance to give us a stack of Vile Tincture for eight seconds, which increases our poison damage by 1% with a max of 10 stacks. So it's possible 10% damage increase inside of those windows. Four set makes us when we have five or more tinctures, our main abilities, Garot, Rupture, and Crimson Tempest deal 10% more damage. I like that we just get a flat damage increase, but you could pay attention and track when you have five or more Vile Tinctures up to do more damage inside of those windows. Utility and mobility wise we're doing pretty solid great mobility with sprint and our shadow step we've got some pretty solid control over mobs with mass blind shiv for unenraged slows and damage reduction with our poisons and sap and shroud for fun new routes for these mythic plus dungeons our survivability is crazy per usual feels really really hard to die although i still find a way it's just it's hard to do we have cloak of shadows which feels like cheating you can just ignore mechanics you've got invasion faint vanish and not to mention a cheat death so many things things to keep you alive. I uh, kind of wish all classes had what a rogue had uh, at some times in these dungeons. Overall, I think the spec feels really, really fun to play, but not because of the hero talents in my opinion. Unlike some other specs and classes hero talent trees that either have something incredibly fun to interact with, a new ability, or something that just looks amazing, Sin doesn't really have that. Deathstalker feels designed solely for single target, PvP, or raid. Doesn't really change your gameplay that much and offers little to no value in AoE scenarios. Would be nice if you could spread the mark to other targets or some cool effect on screen. It's decent damage wise for single target, but not something I'm excited about using like at all and you feel energy starved pretty often. 
Fatebound feels the much better option of the two and Mythic Plus, at least for me. Uh, and I did enjoy playing it more overall. You could feel the difference of damage when you got lucky with your coin flips. The tree is interesting, but like I said earlier, I think it would have been nice to add in some audio sound cues or something on screen that makes you feel or see the coin flip. Don't get me wrong, I was having so much fun playing Assassination Rogue, but for me, it was not because of the hero talent trees, but because of the class design and rotation. I've always liked the bleed and poison play style of Sin and versatility it has when you can't be on your target all of the time. You've got great survivability, group utility, pretty good mobility, and a high skill ceiling. Plus, at least at the moment, your damage is absolutely insane. If that sounds good to you, then I'd recommend picking it up, especially if you've never played it before. It's worth trying out, just not specifically for the hero talents, in my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a lot more videos covering different specs and classes and more for The War Within, so hit that sub button and keep an eye out for those. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for all the support on the channel. I will catch you in the next video.